what to do, everybody? It's your boy, Kelly Kelly TV, a.k.a. the Dude Rag King. Chess Slash for you and your crew. Back with some more reactions. We got The Northman Review. One of my highly anticipated movies I wanted to watch this quarter uh, coming up, man. I went to the movie theater to watch this joint. I literally went by myself to watch this shit. To the studio movie girl, sat back, relaxed, grabbed me some snacks and a beer. Woo! This movie was good. This movie was really good. Um, I'm gonna start off first by saying, um, congratulations to everybody, all the actors in this movie, man. I couldn't, for the love of God, couldn't understand what language they were speaking. I ain't gonna lie. If anybody in the in the comment section could please let me know, please let me know what language they were speaking. Um, I will say this was the this what this movie was so phenomenal, man. I, I mean, I love this movie. My only gripe about this movie is it ended so abruptly, dog. Like, my man died. My man killed the guy, and I don't know if he died, too. He may have died killing the guy, and that was, I mean, it just went black, and that was it. I'm like, you know what I mean? It was an epic fight at the end, though. It was epic, man. But... Um, this was a great movie, man. The plot twist on the mother being the manipulator and shit like that. Like his mother was like a manipulator. She didn't really love him. She had a she had a uh she had a uh a, a history of doing this shit. Um I peeped because when she said that um she um did the same like her uncle or his uncle did the same shit or I forget no or his her grandfather or his, his grandfather did the same shit that his dad did. Like it was, it was that was shit was kind of mind boggling in my mind, bro. Um, but yeah, this was a great movie. I've only seen it once, so my mind might be a little fuzzy. And I'm pretty really late on the reaction to it. Um, but yeah, man, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie, man. Cinematic, it was great. The story was great. Um, there was no dry moments in this movie. Um, not a lot. There was one dry moment in this movie. It was towards the end, though. Um, like when they went on the boat, and it was, it was a lot. It was around there was when it was kind of getting like, okay, like I got to use the bathroom type of shit. You know what I mean? But um, other than that though, I was sitting up and, and, and I was I was focused, locked in on this shit, man. This shit was great. This was great. One of the best movies come out this uh quarter. Um, I, if I had to rate it out of ten, um, you guys know me. I ain't I'm pretty hard on ratings. I'm going to have to give this a solid 8, 8.5, maybe 9. You know what I mean? Out of 10. But if I had to stick with a rating, I'd give it about an 8 out of 10. I'll take two points off. One. Ah. What? Ah, man. Ah. I would say one. It, I mean, it was. I mean, I would say it's hard to follow. They do speak in multiple languages. It's hard to follow. Um... Yeah, it's really hard to follow with that. Um, two, I wish they did a little bit more storytelling about his come up of fighting other villages and shit like that or being with the wolf pack or whatever and shit. I wish they did a little bit more of that. Um, those aren't really two big hard points, but I wish they just did a little bit more storytelling in it. And then, uh, I mean, we already kind of got the premise of the movie like mm, about 30 minutes in type shit. You know what I mean? Um... But, I mean, other than that, though, I don't want to shit on the movie, man. It was great. Highly suggest checking this shit out in theaters, man. Definitely check this out in theaters, bro. Definitely, definitely, if you still could. Or if you did, let me know what you like about it. Um, we're about to see what IGN says about the movie, man. Your fate is set and you cannot Love stay. him, man. William Dafoe, carry that hoe. William Dafoe, carry that hoe. Say it with me. It. Great actors, man. Great actors. Within the Northman, the latest film from The Witch and the Lighthouse director Robert Eggers. Yeah, and, is... uh, yeah, yeah. Before I even keep going, let me know what you guys like better, The Northman or The Witch. Let me know which one you guys like uh, better. Um, me, personally, I'm at to still go The Witch, man. The Witch is creepy as... Is a fascinating trance-like sensory experience that envelops you in the first half hour. The second is a historical revenge saga that feels much more straightforward, while also seeming hesitant in its depictions of violence and sensuality. Despite veering between these two modes of expression, however, the Northman still ends up on the right side of enjoyable. Yeah, it's a real, it's a good movie, man. It's a good. I, I, I'm excited to see what they say, man. 
Damn. Yeah, that oh, shit was crazy. The tale on Fish. paper is a simple one. After witnessing his father being yeah, betrayed is, and murdered simple. by his ruthless uncle Fjolnir, the Viking warrior Prince Amleth returns many years later to quench his thirst for revenge and rescue his mother. Yep. However, the Northman works best when plot momentum is an afterthought and when it luxuriates in the smoky, shadowy atmosphere created by Eggers and his collaborators. The music yep. by Robert Calloran and Sebastian Gainsborough is absolutely key. Veering between folk like the music is probably the, some of the best part of this movie, bro. The music was intense, bro. Super intense with the music in this shit. Strings that Super. evoke the king's regality as he returns for war, and percussions so heavy that with the right theatrical sound system, the bass is sure to rattle your rib cage. There are several sequences when the thundering score might make you want to beat your chest and join in with an on-screen ritual. That sense of ritualism permeates the rest of the story. Amleth repeats his vow to avenge his father and rescue his mother over and over again until it becomes a holy mantra. Yep. This mission, however, ends up becoming morally complicated thanks to certain surprising specifics as the story unfolds. By the time these complications arise, the very notion of bloodshed takes on a spiritual bent. While the Northmen's magnificent dreamlike sequences feel plucked out of time, its more traditional scenes in the back half tend to struggle. Yeah. Once the adult Amleth starts his journey, the film then begins to settle into a more standard Hollywood narrative. Yeah, this like I said, like in the beginning, like when he when he goes into like an adult or whatnot, and he goes into the other village and shit, like it kind of gets, in the, like it, it, it was kind of fast in that point. Like, you know what I mean? I wish they did a little bit more um, story building on, on, on him and his character as he's an adult type shit, you know what I mean? It was kind of like, we already knew what was about to happen type shit. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't really have to show him going to another village and, you know what I mean, he was killing the guys or people like that. He's the greatest warrior. Because none of those guys are, you know what I mean, none of those guys or the slaves they keep, you know what I mean, were, you know what I mean, showed again besides her. Like, you know what I mean? A couple, I think her and a couple other slaves were showed again. That's it. You know what I mean? So... I thought it was kind of problem, weak on that point. Since the romantic element it introduces also features a mystical bent. However, when the story starts presenting less through shadows, music, body language, and dreams, and more through dialogue, the film's weaknesses as classical drama begin to pile up. Yeah. Across the nearly 140 minute runtime, too many exchanges feel hastily assembled and poorly constructed, with little thought for relationships or rhythm. Some of well, I I will say I didn't like the uh I didn't like the uh the part where he met old girl. Um, I wish I could see, um, Constructed. I didn't like the part where I, I didn't like that. He's seen her as he, he was an adult. I, I mean, I just didn't understand none of this. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like he, he, they're telling the truth though. Most of the spiritual shit that happens in here was kind of like, what? Like, I feel like you have to like think a little bit deeper into the story than or I was. Or rhythm. Some of the more traditional His moments was like unfold the best in long takes, and they largely manage to hold attention. But when they're deployed for action scenes, the film's shortcomings as a specifically Hollywood production also become apparent. The Northman has plenty of viciousness, but too many of these instances feel bloodless. So much of the violence is implied just off screen, but little of it is felt. The film's nudity and sexuality feel just as dulled. In either case, the yeah. camera captures bodies at their most vulnerable, but only briefly before yeah, they should have, I ain't gonna lie, they should have showed a lot more blood in this movie. Um, to be a rated, I seen kids, kids, there was kids that actually went to this movie. I seen literally families of families and they had kids to watch this movie. Like, they could have showed a little bit more blood in this movie. There wasn't that much blood. He, they tell the truth. For cutting away. It's I still say 8 out of 10, but the way they saying it, it looked like about a folk. It's a good thing the performances manage to reflect at least some of these ideas, concerned with the line between violence and passion, even if the Northman hesitates to ruminate on them in a meaningful aesthetic sense. Alexander Skarsgård's Amleth, for instance, feels genuinely torn between his divinely inspired plans for vengeance and his newfound lust and affection for Anya Taylor-Joy's Olga. As Fjolnir, Clay's bang is simultaneously the most muted performer and the most alluring. Nicole Kidman yeah. especially keeps the film afloat when it leaves the most ethereal scenes behind, and she's even at the center of the rare dialogue exchange that feels genuinely visceral and nauseating. Despite its less effective elements growing increasingly prominent, The Northman maintains a sense of possibility and unpredictability thanks to the spiritual notions at its core. Yeah. Whatever Amleth learns or unlearns sits right alongside his mad visions of glory and his desire to fulfill a self-destructive destiny in a way that ultimately yeah. makes The Northman a tragedy.
It is, however, a particularly picturesque tragedy that, in its most effective moments, sweeps you up in pulsating fireside customs awash in beating drums that emanate as if from Valhalla itself. I agree. It's worth occasionally tolerating scenes that feel run-of-the-mill by comparison. I agree, I agree. Yeah, I agree with everything he said. Robert Eggers' Viking revenge saga, The Northman, works best when it dives headfirst into dreams and disorienting visions, but it slows down when it becomes a more traditional Hollywood narrative. With viciousness relegated to its margins, it often feels neutered and bloodless, but still ends up on the right side of entertaining thanks to its pulsating music and measured performances. Wow. Okay. 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 Eight. It gave it an eight. Okay. Okay. I'm telling y'all, this was a great movie, man. It was. It is. I would see this movie in theaters again. Like, this is a great movie to sit back, like, eat some good food, take a drink or two. Like, it, it's one of those movies, man. It just sit there and just get lost in the, in the, in the, in the world of, uh, you know what I mean? Of the Northmen. Just get lost in the story. Just trying to figure out who is this? What is that? What is going on? You know what I mean? That type of shit, man. I... I see this shit again. No cap. I'm probably gonna see this shit again anyway. Um, let me know if you guys seen this shit or if you want to see it. I highly suggest you see it and definitely see it in theaters first. I I promise you guys. Um, but yeah, man. Other than that, they said everything wrong. Uh, I kind I agree with them. Everything wrong. I I, I do agree. I, I do agree with everything they said wrong, man. But it's your boy Kelly Kill TV, aka the Do Rag King. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace out.